and looking at a uh, little bit of a uh, choppy trade again. Uh, we started off lightly stronger. Overnight trade was a little bit firmer, but not much, and then fading here a little bit now. Yeah, um, I thought, you know, we were down in the U.S. dollar overnight, and early this morning I was looking at the weakness in the dollar given the little strength into some commodities like gold and silver, and I thought wheat and would benefit from that. And, and since that time, the dollar has rallied. So when the dollar rallies, that usually – means some of the funds will trade the opposite direction of the dollar. That means selling in the host of commodities, gold, silver, well off their highs. Corn is really the only thing that's holding uh, strength in here, whereas wheat has turned lower, soybeans have turned lower. And I think that corn market might be looking ahead to next week's supply and demand report. That's a Tuesday morning report where it's expected to show uh, exports for corn increasing maybe by 25 to 50 in bushels and any stocks dropping the similar amount. So Wednesday's or Tuesday's report, not much of a market mover, but it uh, might be enough to give us a little strength in the corn market going into it. Yeah, especially if uh, volume's a little lighter too. Oh yeah, and, and we had a very low volume overnight session. It looks like today it's a very low volume session so far. And uh, you know that doesn't bode well for the rest of the trading session. We, we almost feel like we're getting uh, holiday type trade between Thanksgiving and Christmas, or it just doesn't seem to be that much interest. And of course, you know, from a speculative community, you know, do they want to buy soybeans out in March when South American supplies are expected to hit the market? Or do you want to buy corn? And you're paying a little bit of a premium to compare to the front month contracts. And then you're also facing that harvest activity that's expected to come into the market. So it's not real enticing for any speculative interest to step in and buy that contract, it's uh, more of a market where uh, you're better off just kind of standing aside or, or trying to play from the short side. How about livestock? What's going on there? Well, we are seeing some strength in the cattle market. Um, we sold off yesterday, but still don't see that trade in the Southern Plains developing yet. We, we saw some dress trade at 297, a couple of dollars better than the previous week. And I think we'll be fully steady this week at, at 190. And so December futures are still discount to that by a couple of dollars. But, um, you know, maybe a little hedge lifting as cash trades starting to develop or, or is expected to develop. Just overall, the, you know, the cutout values are going to have to come up in the next couple of weeks. Our, our packer margins are $97 in the red. That's unsustainable for the, for the packers. So we're looking at probably a cut in kills in the month of December trying to prop up some of their box beef uh, values and, and lost margins, it's going to be a, a kind of a tough road here, I think, for the cash markets over the next several weeks before supplies tighten as we go into 2025. Yeah, not only that, but uh, you end up with a little pushback at the retail meat case too, I, I bet, huh? I'm thinking so, yeah. Especially you get into you know the holidays, Christmas, and Thanksgiving into Christmas, the consumers – probably are willing to spend their money on other things, you know, turkey, hams for meals at Thanksgiving and at Christmas and, you know, presents for the kids and, and uh, grandparents, that sort of thing. During the Christmas season, they're probably going to back away from the higher price cuts of meat and, and steaks for that matter. Yeah, for sure. Anything else we should be aware of? You know, there just isn't all that much news. We didn't have any private uh, sales this morning to talk about. Uh, the economy added uh, some jobs this morning above expectations, and unemployment rate was up a little bit. Um, that, I think, is going to um, put a little pressure against the economy, um, and we're seeing weakness in the crude oil market as a result of that. So that doesn't bode right. well for greens either. 